اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session we looked into how to run linear regression in R. So we use this library stats library. Let's call this library. Once the library is called the second step is to prepare your data file. Again read.csv and it's stored in this object. To run it we are going to use linear model function. Now we've got one dv op and two ivs they are separated by the plus sign. comma and then you show the data now since we did all this in the last session in this session we are interested in how to report regression analysis from r now i've got a template here and i start with my hypothesis results and what i intend to do is that i intend to investigate the effect of vision and development on organizational performance and for that purpose i have proposed two hypotheses Number one, there is a significantly positive impact of vision on organizational performance. Number two, there is a significantly positive impact of development on organizational performance. Now, to report the results, I start with the dependent variable. Organizational performance was regressed on predicting variables of vision and development. The independent variable significantly predict organizational performance. the independent variables significantly predict organizational performance and now i need my f statistics and the p value for the overall model so where are these results let's go to r and let's get our data let's run this model and let's get our summary and here are your results so the overall f statistics is this and this is the degrees of freedom and this is your residual value 215.8 215.8 so we will write the details of f statistics 2 and that is 2 Three eight, if I'm not wrong, let me have a look at it. Three three seven. Three three seven. And what is the p-value? Here is the p-value. Now I need to convert it in decimal points. So I will open Excel. We can do it here as well, but let's quickly do it in Excel. Let's copy it. Paste it here. right click format cells number and let's do three decimal points and it is 0.000 and if it is 0.000 we write it like this p is less than 0.001 now which indicates that the two factors under study have significant impact on organizational performance moreover the r square so where is your r square here is your r square 0.5616 Zero point five six one six, and this shows that the model explains, and you need to convert it into percentage. Just multiply it by hundred, and you will have fifty six point one six percentage of variance in organizational performance is being explained by vision and development. Now, additionally, coefficients were further assessed to ascertain the influence of each of the factors on the criterion variable of organizational performance. H1 evaluates whether vision significantly and positively affects organizational performance. The results reveal that vision has a significant and positive impact on organizational performance. And what are the details? Here are the details. The beta value is 0.263, 0.263. The t value or t statistic is 5.923. Five point nine two three, and what is the p-value? Now, it is point zero zero zero. Anyway, because there are three asterisks or stars, so point zero zero zero. So let's copy it, and the three stars here they show zero. So this is 
less than 0 0.000 but still let's confirm it put it in here right click format cells number three decimal points press ok this is 0 0 0.000 so let's write it p is less than point 0 0.001 now similarly you can copy it for the next of it hence h1 was supported now this was h1 and now we start h2 h2 evaluates whether development has a significantly positive impact on organizational performance similarly copy your b well b beta coefficient t value and p value from this part of the output here and once you do that the next thing is you can present them in the table as well so the beta value the t statistics p value and the results in both cases are supported supported and here is your r square 0.5616 and your f statistics 215.8 and you can copy the beta values t value and p value from this output here so this is how you can use r to report your regression analysis results thank you very much